Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Terry of Terry Thrifty Finds. And this video is not sponsored, but hopefully someday in the future. But I jumped on the bandwagon for the Timu. And I think it's Temu. I'm not sure. So someone in the comments down below, correct me. Um, I, I wanted to reach out to them and say, what is the correction? <laughs> the correct way to say it. But I'm excited about this package. Um, this is it here. Uh, it comes up, it's a little worse for wear, um, but I'm not sure if it comes from overseas. Um, it could be. Um, there's actually a little QR code if you wanted to scan that. But a lot of us have seen the advertisements on, um, if you watch a YouTube, obviously, or if you're here, you're watching YouTube, there'll be the little commercial breaks in between. Um, so yeah, I'm anxious to see this. It feels like, I don't know. I mean, I've watched a lot of hauls and I feel like everything is inside this bag, but we'll see. And um, I will, in the description below, let you know what the prices are on these. Now, brought up from what I've known from videos and from just the advertisements that pop through, even on the ads that um, I do a color me little app where I do like coloring, coloring by number uh, on my iPad. It's just something I do um, while I'm watching TV or past the time, you know, quiet time. It's just something to do. Um, but I'm excited about this. Um, I do a lot of junk journaling and so forth, so I'm anxious to see um, what's in here. But you know what? Now that I look here, there's only one item. It looks like it's the bag that I got, but I'm excited about it because when we do travel again, I want to have a nice um, bag that I can slide over. If you've seen them, you know, there's diff different versions. It has a little flap and it slides over your handle of your, um, your carry-on or your luggage. So when you're walking through the gate, whatever it is, um, you don't have to carry that over your shoulder. So I'm I'm about that. I'm anxious about that. Well, it looks like they got everything packed in here. Let me just before I dig through here. It was like this, and this looks like it's the bag, but everything was inside here. So they they do a lot of packing in there. It's, it's amazing. So sit down, get yourself a cup of coffee, um, and enjoy this haul. So. This is my uh, 60th anniversary cup that I got when we were back in California. Look at the D, it's backwards for you probably. Anyway, so let's start at the very top here. These are all these um, stickers that I got. I'm so excited about these. Um, let me get my scissors here. And I've watched a lot of hauls and people that do junk journaling and so forth and I was just, so excited but a lot of these stickers I think they were less than two dollars or a dollar something so the first one is let's see this is let's see it tells it tells on the outside I think these are the vintage vintage stickers so and you get two packs of them in there so I'll just kind of show you a little bit of these stickers oh look and when I go to visit my daughter next month, um, she started doing some journaling and uh, scrapbooking. So I want to take all of these with me. I'm so glad they came. I was like, I got to place this order. Um, I want to say it took about 10 days for this to get here. If your order didn't, if my order didn't arrive by May 2nd, they would have given me a discount, a refund, or probably a credit to shop again. But Oh, look at that. It's like a little torn. Now I'm thinking if you didn't like, I'm losing them. <laughs> if you didn't like the white lining around here, you could definitely take your scissors and cut it around it and, or age the, like if you saw my previous video uh, for junk journaling, you can use the bronze, browner, bronzer, bronzer on the edge of the paper, give it some age. Um, I'm not going to show you all of them. But these are the vintage stickers. Let me see if I can find a really pretty one. Lots of flowers. 
little vintage. Oh, here's some butterflies. And it has that really nice um, vintage hue to it. So I won't open the other pack, but basically it's the same. So you get um, two doubles of that. Okay, let's go to the next one. And I wish I had the names on here, but like I said in the description, I will write down below what these all are. And okay, this is like retro stickers. They're share, looks like it's share. And they're all up, what they are is they're like advertisements from like um, food magazines. Um, what was some of them? McCall's Magazine, if you've got parents that got those magazines. What was the other magazine my mom used to get? McCall's, Good Housekeeping. So it's all these little vintage um, pictures or ads from those magazines. Probably from the 50s all the way to the 70s, I wanna say. Just really, oh, I'm just loving them. Sorry if they're upside down. <laughs> if they're upside down, <laughs> I don't know. But this is really nice. So I just, there was just one pack of those. Okay, next one. Let's see. Oh, I didn't know there was a flap on there. I'm cutting, I'm, I, I need to find a, a container to put all these in so I don't lose them all. And these are kind of like, I want to say boho it has the books in it more flowers lots of flowers in there so i love these so if i do a junk journal page with like um pictures of our garden you know the different things jim worked hard on the pergola and uh, so i definitely want to I love the books, the books and the plants. It's just really nice. Okay, so that's another pack. Uh, let's see what this one is. Uh, did I get doubles of these? Okay, some of these have the flap where you can easily take it out. Others you have to cut open. So I'm definitely gonna have to find some storage. This is another kind of plant theme one. Sorry if I'm going too fast. But definitely check out uh, Timu or Tamu. Okay, this one has, oh my gosh, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um, all right, all right, all right. We know who says that, right? <clears throat> um, yeah, let's see. I'm gonna have fun. I know what I'm doing this weekend. <laughs> okay, next. Um, maybe this one's the boho one. The other one seemed like it was more like book, uh, I don't know, book, plant theme. Okay, this is, this might be the retro one, but it has some sayings and flowers. I love the sunflowers. No, I think this was the sunflowers. This was the sunflower pack, that's right. And I have it listed on my phone, my order, so this will help me when I put in the description what the name of these are. Keep in mind the prices that I will put may fluctuate, it may change. I love this. My mom used to sing me that song. You are my sunshine. Um, yeah, really, really pretty stickers. And again, you can cut around that and you know change it to what you want. You can cut around the white part of it. But I like it that they did that though, because um, then you're gonna have, uh, you can adapt it or cut it the way you want it. Now this pack was a an actual journaling pack. And I think this was a little bit more. It might be close to $3 or just under $3. But it came with like an envelope if you watched my last uh, Goodwill haul, um, you would have seen that I got those little, um, they're chicken nugget bags, but they look like popcorn bags. So you might wanna check that out. I don't wanna lose everything, but it comes with a little twine and it comes with all of these like journaling, they're not stickers, they're pages. So the other ones are stickers. 
but these are you would have to I'm losing them all you would have to um, separate them out like use your your craft glue which my glue stick works really good on the smaller papers like this uh, for photos I use the um, the glue dots but I use the glue tape not the dots because the tape is a lot of it better oh I love this one this is so neat I love it I love it I love it I love it oh this is pretty for um, like part because most of my journals are all travel journals okay what is this okay this is neat this is actual I'm watching the time because I this I'm filming you'll see this tonight but this in the morning before work these are really neat they're cardstock no it isn't it isn't that's right I was looking at cardstock papers but I saw this and this is basically a blank journal so you get to customize it so it comes with this right here and then you um, as you're working on your journal you can work on it fill your pages up so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna do the um, like a a spiritual journal you know like encouragement um, yeah a faith journal I guess you could call it a, a good friend of ours she showed me hers it was beautiful hers was a little bit better because it, she actually took three of these type of books and put them all in a like hardbound cover um, so this one will be it, it's nice because you can just you know take it um, where you want you know have it sit by your bed um, you can journal in it. Um, I have a lot of different um, pages or stickers where I could stick it in that has lines on it so I can write something. It could be like your daily journal. So yeah, I'm really excited about this. So I decided to get one to see what it's like and I knew it was smaller. I like this kind of size because you can specify what type of journal it is and not necessarily put photos in it, but maybe journal it as like handwritten notes and so forth and stickers next and i like it that they put the dresses in like this this is from soul so mia so i'm always hesitant to buy a dress online because i'm not sure if it's gonna fit but I saw it on the model, and I'm like, okay, this will work. I want something casual for this summer. Um, we're going to a spiritual convention. It's um, in the summer. And I saw this dress. I, don't know, I hope I get in the right size. Yeah, I think it'll be fine. But isn't this cute? It looks like two pieces, but it's just one. It has a, yeah, here's the belt. <laughs> the belt just came off. And then um, it's a midi length, but I just love this, this uh, polka dot. It's kind of like deconstructed polka dots, but I think this will be great. And I think this was only like $11. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it was like $11. I know it was, it's like, I didn't want to spend a lot of money. And I'm looking for maybe one more dress to take with me. But yeah, I'm anxious to try that on. So I will give a review and let you know. And here's the belt. Um, that goes with it and the last item that was neatly snuggled in this is you are one. okay so it actually has this little let me take it out of the bag it has a, it shows that it's specifically for your travel it has a, like a little fabric sticker that says that I love it I thought maybe it was somewhere where you wrote your name on there just in case. Oh, this is nice because it's waterproof. Oh, that's nice. So here's what it says here. If you wanted to look at that. And then, so it's on the outside. Here's where your handle, you would stick this over the handle of your luggage. This is nice here. You've got a zipper so you can like put your, you know, most of us use our phone when we get checked in but if you need to you could put your um 
boarding pass in there or so your cell phone, just something you can grab your little coin purse. And then, um, let's see, is there a pocket on this side? No, just the pocket, one pocket on the outside. And then the little strap that goes over your handle. This is very roomy inside. So you could put your purse in there if you want. So there's, sorry, you can't see. There's two little open pockets inside here. So like your cell phone, your wallet, um, your sunglasses, whatever you want. On this side, there is, oh, it's already open, okay. Um, there's a zipper pocket, but it's so roomy. So it, it, it opens up really nice at the bottom. So this would be a great carry-on bag. And I love it because I hate carrying things over my shoulder. I have a, a bag that I use um, for um, when I just go to, for the weekend, like when I'm going to my, to my daughter's. And um, I can take everything because I drive there. But it's so hard. It's got a nice strap on. It's Lu Goya Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt, and it's a beautiful bag. It's like a brocade bag, bag, and I don't really want to get rid of it. I love it. It's just beautiful. But this is nice. I like this. It's very classic. They had different colors. I think they have blue and pink or mauve. Um, I don't think they have white, but I like the black because it's classic, and I'll go with my luggage, my suitcase. So I'm really anxious to use this the next time we go and oh so here is this little snap right here i guess you could put like you can hang something from there your keys or something maybe i don't know because it's got these two snaps here i'm gonna look at the description online to see but maybe also um if you leave it undone you could fill this up more I think if you wanted to maybe it makes it just a little bit smaller if you're not carrying a lot but this is great I could put my iPad in there any books I'm reading you could put your little purse in there so this is because a lot of places the planes when we went to Florida last you could have we did a check luggage and it went underneath and we paid more you and there's check luggage that you carry on. Carry on check luggage, you pay for that. If can fit underneath your seat, you don't pay anything, which we have done that before. We each had just a backpack and that's it. <laughs> but we were only gone like two and a half days, so I could get by with that. So that is it for my Timu haul. I am so excited that I um, I use this platform. Um, again, this wasn't sponsored. Hopefully, maybe one day we will. But I will send all those uh, links at the bottom so you can see it. Have a wonderful day. Bye.